fucking Fernape already. Jeez. Vulgar Kaiju. That's okay. happening right now. Like this match happening right here on PS2 and Clearful already plucking out the turnip, but Noku wants to immediately shut this down because you do not want Peach to come up here with a turnip in hand because she will do so much damage that output goes crazy. Yeah, and I believe this is actually a pretty good matchup for Pokemon Trainer. Oh, like Squirtle works really effectively uh, against Peach at the lower percents because of his ridiculous combo game and the fact he can rush down, prevent the turnip pulls. Then Ivysaur has the range and then Charizard just has the survivability and the make you explode sometimes. So I was saying it's a good matchup, but we'll actually see it. Yeah. Of course, player four with Peach always has that potential to make anything work. And we're already seeing the switch to the Ivysaur, and we know that Noku is going to hang back, trying to get those back airs to uh, the Vine Whip conversions, as we're seeing right here. He's fishing for it. He's throwing out some of the Razor Leaves to throw a little bit in the mix, but Cody, unfazed, just running straight up for the grab and just plucking that dot eye turnip. But, uh, Goodbye, Dada. Oh, that is a badly spaced fair. I think he was maybe expecting player four to fade back a little bit. But all right, now comes the Zard. Now, for those of you who don't know, Noku Zard, pro maybe the strongest of all of the Pokemon that he has at his at disposal. Like, his Zard is terrifying. And it's a fact it's heavy means that Peach grabs you right there. Who cares? That just means I'm even angrier now. Yeah, just like that, pulling the trigger immediately. Charizard back here, just taking that because the thing about Charizard is he is such a scary, destructive force, and when he gets those easy, easy combos, he can do really big damage. Without a doubt. And speaking of damage, honestly, we're not really seeing the Squirtle combos that you generally expect from a player like Noku. Uh, oh, that was really smart. He goes for that down smash. That down smash from Squirtle, shockingly low end lag. He uses it as a bait a lot of the time. And player four knew that, and he empty landed and got him with the grab. So that was really smart awareness of what is and is not punishable. Honestly, when I saw that for the first time, I'm like, is he trying to fake an F-Smash in that situation? Because they look scarily similar. I I feel like Squirtle never does for F-Smash. It's just like... Nah, no way. But Cody just hanging on for dear life at the ledge here. But you're... Get staring face down at Ivysaur with all these threatening options, trying to go for the grab in that situation, but the Yeet's off stage. And that's what Ivysaur is really good at, the ledge trapping. You saw there, put player four off stage, especially with, I think he lost his jump. And at that point, it was just too predictable where he was going to be, and Noku's able to just hit him off stage with a back air up the over and over again. And now there is an <laughs> undoubtable lead that player four has to fight his way through. Yeah, can't really be too much on the defensive here, but definitely can slow it down to where you get that in, much like with that grab, trying to read the eye, covering that platform very beautifully with the hover back here. And now you have him hanging with the fair. Oh, Flare Blitz. Yeah, Tarzard out to play right here. And we've already seen him dead. Oh my god, almost. Oh, taking off a little, a little bit more, but we have the Charizard at the play. Trying to cover that, but rolling on up with a down smash. Down Put smash is so weak! Reversing the times right now. There you go, back here, sealing that deal. All right. All right what? Uh, okay. Listen, I mean, I wouldn't want to die in that situation. I'm throwing down that spot dodge. I'm trying to get out of here, but, you know, just coming out swing with that up air. I'm definitely not expecting that with that DI. Yeah, drop down from the platform up air is kind of an Ivysaur staple. Because it just, first of all, up air still covers so much space. Yeah, it's huge. It's massive. And the fact it, like, swoops you down to the ground, you just get down down to the ground even quicker. Yeah, it's like an unreactable burst option. Just straight down from the angel platform. All right, this is game two. What needs to change for player four? For, I think you started off really, really good, and then he got shook by the Charizard. I feel like... Everybody gets shook by that Charizard. Yeah, it's, it's so... To just say, well, why not just not get scared of Noku Zard? Uh, that's oh, not, exactly, not exactly constructive criticism. Uh, but he, I think that he had a really good game plan starting off. And it's just once the Zard came out, he was maybe not respecting the kill options that Zard has at those lower percents when, you know, he was at 80 and died to a back air, so. Yeah, and speaking of that back air, 
Player 4 currently dropping all those back airs right now and is keeping on the defensive right now, trying to find that in against the Squirtle. Wow. And Noku just hanging, trying to throw the Ferris, but Koei just comes on in and finally gets that grab. I love that neutral right there. That was such cool neutral. The back and forth, and eventually Player 4 commits by landing with that empty land. Like, he's a player who loves to, he just loves neutral. He wants to spend as much time in neutral as he can until he gets a hit, and then he wants to take his opponent to town. Of course, both of these players always willing to play that dance. We have player four just pummeling, trying to get that damage. And here we go, we're gonna see the forward throw out into play right here. And he's plucking off the turn up, just hoping to get this ledge trap going on from the Noku Charizard, which is online right now. And you can see he's covering the space very well, but Noku's just hovering, just jumping on back. And there you go, Charizard back here, come out swinging. You have to remember where that's, what space it's actually going to occupy. Yeah, I like that. He's being much closer. You know, he's baking sure that he's in Zard's face because at this percentage, nothing Zard has at that point blank range will kill him. Exactly, because those aerials, they'll come now, out Now fast. there are things at point blank that will kill. Oh, yeah. You got the F-Tilt. You got the throws out into play right now. It's a simple jam. Up Get smash. The up corner. smash is actually terrifying. And now you have Rage Charizard right now. You have the Flamethrower to threaten, and Player 4 is very scared right here, and Noku is still locking down this ledge. He's unable to escape right now, and Player 4 just... Oh my god, what a challenge! Right through the fire and the tech! Beautiful stuff from Noku! And he air dodges through! They're ah. gaming right now. Player 4 finally getting that fair and taking that first stock. We've had quite some time for that first stock to be taken right now. And yeah. I imagine this is where Player 4 kind of excels. Slowing down this gameplay, willing to play that neutral and playing super defensively when he has the lead up. Yeah, but that's actually... As far as options go when your opponent is trying to be very passive, that Squirtle side beat, the fact that it beats out any hitbox that he might be putting, is just player forward. And now make sure that he has to respect that. Yeah, you always got to respect that. And now, Noku is just hovering around for the Ivysaur, trying to cash out on his free edge guard here. We have the Nair pushing it back, but it's not going to kill quite yet. And player four is still kind of looking to find his way. And there you go, right out of the corner. Dash attack, finding his way back in. Trying to get a turn of combo, but we still... Oh! It's Bomba Town. <laughs> All right, get, gets the follow-up off of that down there. That was terrifying. D uh, he's weak to fire. And I expect some Cody kind of luck out here. Okay, player four. I see we're channeling this over here at Encore. Okay. Oh, oh this is actually... The yeah, those are the kinds of positions that Ivysaur can get some massive damage out. Yeah, and especially if you give him that air dodge, you know he's going to capitalize the most on it. But player four is setting up a really good situation out here at the ledge with that forward throw. But Noku just comes on swinging with an aggressive fair, looking to win back his stage on the space. And there you go. He's finally just looking to get this grab in. But player four is throwing out some very smart dash attacks here. Oh, what a parry! I... The, the guts on that. Because there have been so many times... Hilarious. There have been so many times that Player 4 had landed emptily and gotten the grab, and the fact that he got that parry right there. But the thing is, even though Noku is doing a really good job of playing around those very specific attacks, he's not getting the oh counters, God. you know? Squirtle tree. Oh, you have a... Okay, that was actually kind of terrifying for a moment. Oh. oh. Speaking of Yikes. terrifying. All right, getting locked down on the platform. Super terrifying situation to be against Ivysaur. But now, Player 4 just trying to find his combo starters, but Noku is finding that back here. He's finding his own damage. There you go, you got the up air ladders. That's a quick 64 online right now, and you're controlling all the space. The fair into the vine whip. You're in the corner right now. You got to hover for this free edge guard. Come on, Noku, you got to cash out right here, right now. And there you go, the S smash on the neutral getup. That's something we always know Noku can do, and what a clean last stop right there. From front to back, just got those ridiculous combos, made sure he got the follow-up hit that would put him way off stage.